All right, so I'm going to try to give you a tutorial on the easiest way to set up more joysticks for ATS. It could be used for other games, but I'm doing it for ATX. So for me, I got keyboard plus Moza R9. This is going to be my shifter. This is going to be obviously the pedals, the joystick, and then the button box. So I'm going to show you on my rig real quick what we're talking about. Keyboard plus Moza R9. So obviously we got the keyboard, we got the Moza R9 wheelbase, the ANXTF1. That is the shifter right here. So obviously you got your splitter range and your, you know, just the buttons on there. And then I got the Moza pedals. Uh, the USB generic joystick is the Amazon shifter. And then I have the button box from ATS accessories, just the essentials. Uh, the one thing that's not listed is the TS Plus. So to be able to use the TS Plus, because that will be the sixth USB device and ATS only allows five, I have to map all the buttons from the turn signal to my keyboard since the keyboard is able to read. So the first thing we need to do is VJoy. Once you download that, I just put that right onto my um, homepage here. Vjoy. And it's uninstalling. And install it again. Make sure all these are checked. Press next. Install. Vjoy is installed. So we're just going to go into here. Search. You scroll all the way down to Vjoy. And then configure new VJoy. Click that, press yes. This is what it's going to open up to. Now, what does VJoy do? To be honest, I don't know. I watched a video and they told me to download this. It told me 128 buttons, four POVs, continuous, and then just have all this checked. Press apply. And I think that's all you need to do with VJoy. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm not tech savvy at all. So this video is going to try to explain the very basics of what you need to do to make it work. Because if I'm able to make it work, you are most definitely gonna be able to make it work. So now once that is downloaded, we're gonna go back into here and we're gonna look up Joystick Gremlin. So go back. So this will be a download for the VJoy and then go to Joystick Gremlin. First one right here. I'll, I'll include the links in the bottom. Uh, up top left corner, you got downloads, uh, download release zip. I don't know what you're, you're going to be watching this video. Hopefully people continue to watch this, but, um, once you download that, you will again, download it to your home screen. It's going to be zipped up like this. You want to unzip it. So I'm going to bring the documents over here. And then you're going to have all this crazy stuff in here. The only thing you're going to look for, keep scrolling down, keep scrolling down. And when you s looking on the left hand side, you're going to be looking for a little joystick. There it is. Joystick gremlin with the uh, little joystick there. Double click that. And it's going to pop up right here. So this is where you're going to be working from the entire time. I'm going to close this out so it's not distracting. So the um, one thing I'm looking for is the TS Plus. So as you see, I've already done all of this and I don't need to worry about anything else. Not the shifter, not the button box, USB generic, none of this. Um, my advice to you is use something with the least amount of buttons so it's less to map, less to keep track of. So I'm going to turn the right turn signal on so you can see what it's going to be looking for. So that's my right turn and I have labeled it and then left turn. I have a top bottom or a top button, bottom button, and then you got high beams. And then you got wiper and then wiper off. All right. So now that we got done with that, you saw the W, you saw the D, you know, all that. Um, I have to map a high beam button yet. So I labeled it high beam. And then when you go to remap, you have to click map to keyboard.
press add, it's going to ask for a keystroke. So I'm going to press the key V and I'm going to click away from it. Then go into your file, save your file, and then you can save as is. And then just be sure this guy right here is clicked on. It's going to be green. Then you go to ATS, go to your options, going to go to your key buttons, and you go to whatever button you just set. So for me, it's going to be high beams. There's V right there. So we're going to go back into the game. So obviously, be sure your headlights are on when you're testing stuff, if you're testing for lights or whatnot. So I'm going to pull back. And you see on the dash, high beam's working. And if I press V on the keyboard, that'll work. A is going to be my left. S is my right. Uh, D, I believe, is my interior lights, but you're not going to be able to see that. And that will be the end of the tutorial. So, like I said, ATS only allows a certain amount of USB sticks for whatever reason. I think it's kind of stupid, but that was the easiest way I could explain it because that's the easiest way that I got it. If you do have questions, feel free to ask. I can try my best to help. Um, hopefully this gets enough views where other people are able to help you if I don't know. But I mean, obviously this may not look the same to you as it does to me, but it's literally just binding a USB like joystick to your keyboard. So however many USB controllers you have, as long as you got enough keys and a keyboard to bind it to, that's all you got to do. So that's why I recommend using the smaller USB joysticks is because it's not a lot of buttons to bind to the keyboard. So good luck, have fun.